This is Geno, Fortnite's main antagonist. By the time we finally got to see him, he was already dead. Or so we thought. There was a huge unsolved mystery with Geno. What happened to him? Is he alive? And if he is, where is he? This is only one of the many unsolved mysteries we're going to be covering today. But for Geno, first we need to start with how he died. After being hyped up, I can get you to Geno. And revealed to be a huge, terrible person who seeked perfection over everything else, even his daughters, he died. Get this, to his daughter. But here's the thing. Geno seeked perfection, and in the years of seeking perfection, he found the key to immortality. So, at the end of this comic book, it leaves us with a huge cliffhanger. In Geno's final moment, it says, not the end. And years later, we still have no idea what that was supposed to mean. He has not returned, leaving us with a great unsolved mystery. But unlike Geno, in our next unsolved mystery, we have some hints on what might have happened. The seven have suddenly disappeared, leaving many players wondering where they are, are they alive, and what happened. The seven is a group of people that escaped the loop, a prison built by the Zero Point. This group of people that had escaped decided they would rebel against Geno and the Imagined Order, creating this group that we know as the seven. But this quickly got out of hand. In Chapter 1, Season X, during the end event, we hear the scientist, one of the seven, say the nothing is now inevitable. And this was an unsolved mystery for years until Chapter 3, Season 4, when the Herald showed up to destroy our island using a new item called Chrome. Chrome could consume anything it touched and transfer it to any place. The Chrome was a gift to the Herald by the Nothing, the entity that the scientist mentioned all those years ago. And sadly, this is what happened to the seven they were consumed by the chrome end of story wrong only three were confirmed to be consumed by the chrome transported to the last reality's cradle to be tortured the scientist the visitor and the origin were taken there the paradigm managed to escape and she fought the herald and won but if she won where is she now and where are the other members of the seven let's start with the foundation his helmet was spotted on the floor outside of his statue just before everyone went missing. He never went anywhere without his helmet as it protected him from being captured by the loop. We do not know what exactly happened to the foundation. He could have been consumed by Chrome. That's our best guess. But for now, this remains unsolved. Unlike the Imagined. The Imagined, another member of the Seven, died while fighting her father, Geno. But sadly, unlike her father, she does not have immortality. That's five out of the seven explained. The Order was Geno's other daughter, and after Imagine's death, she was upset and decided to leave. She went somewhere that we do not know. Simple. The Paradigm's explanation won't be that simple, though. The Paradigm was last spotted on Chapter 4, Season 1's trailer when the Zero Point pieced together the island. She was directing the Zero Point what to do and where to go, but then, after this trailer, she literally disappeared. She has not been seen again, so where is she? This remains unknown, but my theory is that she is located inside the Zero Point after it has been petrified and protecting itself with a new layer of rock. The only other time we have seen this happen was Chapter 2 Season 6 when the Foundation locked himself inside the Zero Point to repair it. Maybe the Paradigm did the same thing here, and maybe she is still located inside of the Zero Point to this day. The rest of this video will be in smaller portions, but still just as mysterious. In the Chapter 2 Season 8 cinematic event, the island was being overtaken by the last reality, and the Seven came to help us fight them off. And in the process, we heard some very interesting dialogue. Ugh, why does she make me keep saving you? This is the only context we hear of this sentence. We do not know who the Foundation meant when he said she, and we do not know what he meant when he mentioned saving him before this moment. The only thing that comes to mind when I think of she in this situation would be Dr. Sloan or the Zero Point. Dr. Sloan had Jones in prison at the time, and the Foundation had just saved him. But this doesn't explain why the Foundation would be told to save him. And for the Zero Point, maybe the Zero Point told the Foundation to save him, but as of right now, this remains a mystery. The government was a mystery back in Chapter 1, and still is today. Who were they? What was their goal? Looking back on it, they had the same role that the IO had. 
The Io oversaw the island. They were the reason there was order. But if we take a deeper look, it might have a different outcome. For a long time, the government was simply just building huts, making buildings, repairing damages, stuff like that. They showed no sign of evil until they discovered a giant metal floor under the ground where a layer of stone should be but instead it was just a flat metal they were curious so they kept digging up places and eventually dug up loot lake which caused them to find a giant vault and they immediately went inside where they found the zero point i believe this was the moment that they became the io this was the moment that they saw power and went after it. They found the zero point and contained it. The government was the IO, but whether they knew about the zero point the whole time is unsure. We have many more unsolved mysteries that seem to get weirder and weirder, so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe if you're enjoying it. Is the Cube Queen still alive? First, we have to talk about who the Cube Queen is. The Cube Queen is the queen over all of the cubes. In season seven, she made her appearance in the mothership where she surprised everybody and brought all of the cubes back. They took over the island and she eventually brought the chapter two season eight event. So in chapter two season eight, the greatest event ever, we see the Cube Queen reign over us and she is taking over the island. But towards the end of the event, we use our trick card we flip the island and the cube queen fails she screams and the portal closes but we do not know if she survived or if she died and this still remains the question Is the Herald alive? And if so, where did she go? First, I have to explain who the Herald is if you guys don't know. The Herald was first spotted at the end of the trailer in Chapter 3, Season 3. She was spotted spying over our island looking through a little glass ball. She made her way to the island and took a big portion of the island, eventually growing roots that spread to the zero points. She used these roots to explode the zero point using chrome and tucking herself inside of a tree using the chrome to protect herself. But in chapter four, her tree was found on the island, fully chrome at first, but later in the season, we see a hole in the back of the tree and the tree is no longer chrome. This leaves us with the question, did she escape? And if she did, we can assume she used the chrome to get back to the cube cradle where the seven are. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want a part two, make sure to comment and subscribe. Use code PBJ if you want to support me in the item shop and join the discord in the link in the description. To see the entire Fortnite season two storyline explained so far, watch the video on the screen and enjoy. See you over there. He's good people.